Hey guys, so today's video is actually a very exciting one. If you guys know, I've been a huge fan of Colourpop for a really long time. I can't remember the first video I did with Colourpop. I think it'll be like the full face of Colourpop video. That was the first time I like tried the whole brand and I immediately fell in love. And since then, you guys know that I've bought like majority of the collections. I have like a whole shelf of just Colourpop eyeshadow palettes. So it's very exciting for me to announce that today's video is actually sponsored by Colourpop. So I'm doing, I was going to do an updated um, full face of Colourpop just in like 2022, just with more knowledge on the brand, just kind of, you know, just an updated version. And actually, um, I had that planned out for ages, but I didn't know when I was going to make that happen. And then I got an amazing email, basically being like, hey, like, would you like to be sponsored by Colourpop? And I was like, absolutely. Absolutely, I would love to be sponsored by Colourpop. What do you mean? Um, so today's video is sponsored by Colourpop. However, I've bought everything I already have. So when they asked me, do you need any products? I was like, not really, no, because I already have everything. So it's okay. Um... That goes to show that, like, I've spent my money on Colourpop this whole time. Like, they literally didn't send me anything for free. These are all products that I've bought with my own money. So, um, yeah, they're just sponsoring this video. So, um, I'm going to do a full face of Colourpop. And I'm also going to talk about some life updates for you guys. Um, I like pointing with these. Let's just get into that. Um, subscribe, hit the bell, like, comment for engagement. And let's just get into it. I'm going to have to put these back, which doesn't look as cute, but... But I need to do my makeup. So what are we going to start with? I've already got my whole skincare done. So I'm going to go in with one of my favorite primers from the brand. You'd think that I'd like the hydrating one more. I do like that one very much. But lately I like to balance my... So if I'm doing like a more dewy foundation, I'll go in with like a slightly more mattifying or just long wearing primer. So I actually really enjoy the No Filter Primer by Colourpop. So as you can see, can you see where the gap is? So I've used up half of it already, which I think is a great sign of really enjoying a product. This isn't like a pore filling primer. It's not one of those like super thick silicone-y um, primers. It feels really thin and like you're not really wearing anything and it doesn't make your skin feel dry or sticky or anything. It just adds this like blurring effect to your skin, but in like a very gentle non-aggressive way it just creates like a very nice beautiful just like a veil like immediately your skin just looks a little bit more perfected which is just which is why i use this much of it let's go into the pretty fresh hyaluronic acid tinted moisturizer now i've been banging on about the pretty fresh foundation which is one of my favorite foundations of all time i think when it comes to affordable foundations you cannot get any better than that foundation it's so good the shade range is amazing a very affordable price tag like it's just very good like if i put one high-end one Colourpop Pretty Fresh Foundation, you would not be able to tell the difference. But for today's video, we're going to use the Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturiser, which is like the same line, but instead of being a foundation, it's a tinted moisturiser, which I've been very into lately. This is actually in the shade Fair 1N, which could be a little bit, a little, little bit fair. We can only hope that it's going to be okay. Let's do one pump for now. It actually looks pretty good. Looks like a pretty good match. I haven't um, fake tan in a while, so it should be okay. And let's just start applying that to the face. Let's use the Super Shock Highlight as a mirror, which is great. With these big um, highlights, using them as a mirror for travel is ideal. I mean, it's a little bit fair, but because it's a tinted moisturizer, even if the shade is a little bit off, it blends out enough to where it it's not too bad. Life update, while I'm blending out my foundation, I have this awful spot on my cheek, which obviously I knew what I was getting into when I was using a tinted moisturizer. It's fine, we all get spots. It's no biggie. Um, I'll probably just cover it with some concealer. Life updates. The first episode of my podcast is officially out. Podcast, because that did not come out right when I was saying it. The first episode is out. I'll be linking that in the description. It went great like the reaction so far has been great now the video was a little bit late in the sense that we actually wanted to post every monday but it came out on a tuesday because i didn't want to wait a whole new week to we had some issues with oh my hard drive was broken just a lot of things happened i ended up delaying it by a day um but we didn't want to delay it by a whole week so i just posted it on a tuesday but actually it's going to go up every monday now that leads me to more life updates which is i want to scale back on the main channel videos just even things out and that is because when you guys see my bookshelf on my main channel and on my second channel and literally any oh, any time that this bookshelf is in the background of anything tiktoks instagram anything people are like please give us a bookshelf tool please can we get a bookshelf tool and i've been hearing this since literally the start of like this channel uh, which was i think the first time where i showed the bookshelf i've just been hearing how much you guys want a bookshelf tool now instead of just giving you guys a bookshelf tool <laughs> 
I'm going to give you a whole book channel. Because if I'm going to do a bookshelf tour, I might as well just continue doing book content. Because I, as you can tell, I really enjoy books and reading and stuff. And I just think it's a really good um, outlet for me. So what I'm going to end up doing is creating a schedule, which is... I'm going to put all of that in the description. So Monday's podcast, Tuesday's main channel, which is my drama channel. Wednesday's will be this channel. Thursday's will be book channel. And on Friday's will go back to drama channel. Or if I have like a spare video for any other channel other than podcast, I'll just post it on a Friday as like a little bonus video. Then the weekends are off. And once again, we start on Monday with podcast. And that will be the schedule for now. I feel like having a more scheduled week will make me a little bit more motivated. I've gone through what a lot of people have gone through, mainly during the pandemic, which is burnout and just completely feeling a bit like lost and confused and hopeless and just a bit like what is going on. And I feel like that is due to just a complete lack of routine, like just everything got switched up. And that has led me to being severely burnt out with just everything, life, everything. I don't leave the house. I'm, it's It's been a, you know, it's been a moment. So I feel like adding more structure into my life, but also adding in a channel that is fun. Like my drama channel definitely feels like that's my job. Whereas my second channel podcast and now the bookshelf kind of feels like a hobby. Even though I'm still kind of my job. It's a weird... Anyway, so I feel like um, the book channel will make me just more like motivated um it'll be a slight break from my regular content it lets me kind of be more free with my content um it lets me you know just experiment more i'm using the pretty fresh concealer which is a cult classic cult favorite if you will and it is in the shade fair 15 w and i'm just using that to cover up anything that the um tinted moisturizer didn't cover which is just spots so i'm going through hormonal acne whoa it's actually very good now compared to where it was about two weeks ago um but it's it's definitely slowing down which is great um but it's been a moment for my skin the bookshelf tour should be out next thursday because i'm not going to get a video done for this week so it's going to be next thursday after my second podcast episode so my podcast, drama channel, and bookshelf channel will all be in the description along with anything else you might need to find and that will be the schedule for now and I'll let you know if anything changes. I love how these products look on the skin, like the skin looks blurred out obviously because of the primer, now the spot gone immediately, very nice. The tinted moisturizer literally looks like skin, like it looks like I'm not wearing anything on my skin and then the concealer is really good coverage but it still looks like skin which is kind of, um, it's got a very similar vibe to the pretty fresh foundation which is just like it looks like skin and looks fresh but it also covers which is really good so if you want something a little bit more coverage then the concealer and foundation combo is what you're looking at and then if you want something a little bit more natural like i'm doing today um then i'd suggest the concealer and tinted moisturizer combo the concealer for spot concealing and under the eyes and then the tinted moisturizer just to even out the skin a little bit so this is what that looks like i just think it looks so nice just like skin which is what we want so now i'm just going to apply a cream bronzer obviously any products that i don't have i have to supplement with other things but i'm just gonna slightly bronze up and kind of contour at the same time but with a cream because i'm doing more of a springtime look like obviously now that we're getting into spring we want things that look a little bit well, I want things that look a little bit more natural and skin-like and a little bit less heavy, you know. You know the vibe that we go for when the sun's out. Then I'm going to use one of my new favourite blushes, which is, I bought this recently, even though I'm on a low buy. <sighs> low buy. No buy, which is actually a low buy. I bought a Super Shock Cheek. It's a satin formula, which is very nice, in the shade Prenup. This is the perfect pink for me. It took me ages, like, to... Because I had a few in my basket and I was, like, trying to figure out, like, decipher which pink is going to be the right pink for me. And I went with this one and I'm so glad. Um, look at this beautiful mauve natural. Like, this is my ideal blush. And I'm so glad I found it because this is literally, like, the blush of my dreams, okay? So I actually, when I use Super Shock blushes or anything like that, I use my sponge and kind of just go in there. But you can use a brush. You can use your fingers. You can do whatever you want. This formula is so malleable. Um, it's, like not cream but it's also not powder so you can treat it the way you would treat a powder but you can also treat it the way you would treat a cream because it's neither of those things but it's also both at the same time so if you want to use a brush you can if you want to use your fingers you can if you want to use a sponge you can um but i just you know take some and i just apply it and it looks so natural but it's also so buildable so i'll obviously i'll start with layer one which is just a cute flush 
if you will. And then I pick up some more on the sponge and I just go in and, you know, stamp, stamp, stamp. Then I'm going to take some more and kind of apply it around the nose area. Obviously, now that we're getting into like springtime here in the UK, um, I'm going for that slightly sunburnt look. Um, so I'm just applying a lot of blush kind of around the nose area, around the cheek area. Just anything that the sun would hit is going to get covered in blush. And I feel like this is the perfect shade for looking, not sunburnt, but just a little bit, you know, bronzed. And because it's a satin formula, it looks so natural as well. It looks so cute. Then I'm going to apply it where I normally apply blush, which is also kind of in between bronzer and like the rest of my skin. I don't know if anyone else does this, but I like to blend my bronzer in with blush. And then just chin. So basically I'm applying it everywhere. Like, let's start with that. I apply my blush quite literally everywhere. Then I just like to blend the edges just to make sure that everything kind of blends in well together with just like a clean side of the sponge. Things are just looking very natural right now. Look at that. So this is like one of my new favorite blushes. I love it. I love the texture. I love like the finish. I like the color. I like just the price. Then I'm gonna use one of my favorite highlights of all time. This is the ColourPop Super Shock Highlight in Your Trip. Now, if you've been on this channel for a long time, I raved about this, like nothing in the world. You guys told me to stop raving about it because you had enough but I'm here to rave about it again. Um, I've already hit pan on it ages ago. You can, can see the, like the, you know, cross hatching everywhere. I'm gonna actually use my sponge for this. I'm gonna use the tip. But once again, you can use anything with this. So I used to use um, just like a regular highlight brush for it, or I'd just tap it with my finger if I was feeling like it, but I'm gonna use my sponge today just for nice blending application. Oh my God, I hit even more pan just now. <laughs> I cracked off one of these squares, which means I've actually, actually hit pan. This is definitely being added into my project pan soon because I just feel like, like I've already basically hit pan on it. So I might as well just continue. As you can see, I've flaked off one of those squares and you can see the pen through it. Here we go. Please look at that. That is beautiful. That looks like skin. That looks like a healthy glow. Look at that. There is nothing quite like the super shock formula like when it comes to the blush obviously it looks like skin like you literally can't detect it on the skin and the highlight is exactly the same you can see the glow but you can't see where the glow is coming from you're just like kind of like your cheeks glowing but like why is it glowing so i personally love these i think they're just a really good formula and the your trip shade is my favorite shade that i've tried so far but they have the super shock highlights in so many different shades so you can pick whatever you want but look at that so i've been obsessed with this one literally since i got it and every now and then i'll take a break to try other products you know because you obviously i review makeup and i buy makeup for my channel so obviously i have to try other highlights and then when i do go back to this one i'm like oh this is why i loved it that is so glowy yeah so that is so far where we're at with the face ignore my spot it's annoying but yeah, that is the Your Trip and I've literally just hit extra pan on it. So that's really exciting. And the best bit is you can set this makeup, but you also don't have to. Like I'm not going to use any powder today because I just don't really feel like it needs it. What I am going to use is the No Filter Setting Mist, which is um, one I've tried before. And it's similar obviously to the primer, but it also just adds a slight like mattifying filter look to it so instead of adding more dew which i feel like i've had enough of because obviously i haven't even set my face i'm gonna use a little bit of like a filtering blurring slightly mattifying um setting spray and the mister on this is so fine that it literally feels like a high-end product if you sprayed this on someone and was like how expensive do you think this is they'd give you a high-end price tag i've actually ran out of all of my colourpop brow products recently so i should have asked for colourpop brow products but i was like i'm not gonna ask them to just send me a brow gel and one pencil because that would be a waste of air flying but obviously i've done my brows and i've got concealer just a pretty fresh concealer and i've just set it with powder on my eyelids instead of just um, an eyeshadow primer colourpop does do eyeshadow primers but i'm currently doing a slight project pan so i'm trying to not buy stuff until i finish something so i can't wait to try the colourpop one when I get around to it, buying it. And I feel like actually primers just take so long to finish. So I'm just trying to get through my stuff. So I'm actually gonna use one of my favorite classic um, eyeshadow palettes today from Colourpop, which is the Blush Crush, which I'm obsessed with because it's one of those like everyday beautiful, just very like just subtle springtime um, palettes. And actually they have a lot of sales going on right now, you know, whether it's 
for springtime things or just in general and i feel like colourpop does a lot of good sales so um i've actually seen this be in a sale recently um uh, for springtime so you might be able to snag it for even less money which i think is great along with this kind of like nude range um i love going coconuts uh that's taupe they have the wild child one um they have just like a bunch of very beautiful oh nude mood just beautiful neutral everyday palettes for many different people so uh, i'm gonna go in with um the one which is just this color right here and i'm just gonna slap that kind of just everywhere this just ever so slightly is going to build up um a base for the other shades which i love to just build like a gradient when i'm doing a, an eyeshadow look start with the lightest and then you know build up just for a seamless blend so after i've done that i'm gonna take made you blush which is just the sequin pink in the middle and i'm actually going to use that just on the same brush ever so slightly tap into it and slowly build um i'm gonna add that kind of on the outer edge I prefer to build slower, so I try to tap very gently. Um, Colourpop is very pigmented, very easy to blend, and I just like to very gently, when it comes to like everyday springtime looks, I like to do less and then build. So if you're on full opacity, you can have it. Like in my first video about kind of full face of Colourpop, I did a blue eyeshadow look, I remember. And that was very pigmented. If you like tap and you leave a sticky base, it's going to be very pigmented. I'm trying to like ever so slightly tap and build this eyeshadow look so it looks more buffed out, more blown out and just a little bit more natural. That's kind of what I'm into lately, just very like blown out, blended, neutral eyeshadow looks. Like I feel like Colourpop just has one of the most consistent and reliable formulas, like it just works. If you need something that's going to look beautiful regardless of technique and regardless of shade selection, I feel like Colourpop's just like a very safe bet which i think is why i like buying my kind of everyday palettes for like a soft glam from colourpop because they have a huge variety of shades but then also just very consistent very reliable you know what you're getting with the formula it's very easy to use very consumer friendly beginner friendly as well um and yeah so we've got pink going on right now lovely and then i'm actually going to use um this one's called Cheek to Cheek, which is like a mauve pink, which I think will tie in beautifully with the blush, because the blush was more mauve-y. Um, and I think I'm actually going to leave it at that, and then I'm going to just do a shimmer, obviously. Um, but I think for mattes, that will be it, except for obviously I have to do the lower lash line as well. I think I want to use this one all over the eyelid. It's that beautiful, just like stunning pink. After that is done, I'm actually going to take this is a super shock um shadow up here um it's called pop a bottle and i'm gonna use that on the inner corner and brow bone because i just think the super shock formula looks so stunning and this shade is beautiful and it gives off the same vibes as the highlight that i have on um just like a champagne -y pinky shade um, and obviously the formula is amazing. I'm dragging that kind of on the lower lash line as well, which I love to do. And then just on the brow bone and then blend it out on the brow bone, blend it out. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I want to take some of that super shock um, eyeshadow and pop it right on the center on top of kind of the rest of the look. Yeah, I like the kind of halo effect that this adds. And obviously with it blended in with the other shimmer, it just looks really stunning. So there's that. And that's literally just been done with two brushes. It's so simple to do. It really just doesn't even take much like thinking power. Like it's so easy to use this eyeshadow palette. So this one's probably one of my favorites of all time from Colourpop. It's just such a simple classic. Um, and then we're gonna do mascara. I'm actually gonna use um, the Act Natural Defining Mascara in the shade brown i think it just looks so soft and i feel like with the pink it just looks really nice i've been really into this brown mascara um i also have it in black but i feel like there's something just so special about the brown um color i just think it looks so natural and just a little bit softer which i think is nice now this is just one layer but look at that like the before and after 
I just think it's such a beautiful separating and like they are correct in saying it's a defining mascara. I think these look so defined, so separated, not spidery, but just like long and luscious and beautiful, but also just natural and like such a good mascara for every day. I've just been, even if I'm not wearing makeup, I've just been applying this mascara. I'm just doing like very simple concealer, maybe a super shock blush. And then just like some brow gel and this mascara and I feel like you're like good to just go and live life, you know? And I love the brush. Obviously it's fibery, it's like big, but it's it just works really well. It's not too big where you're like touching everything with it. And then I'm actually going to use my new favorite lip product um, from Colourpop, which are these double-ended art collection um, lippy duos. Um, so I have two different shades here because I like using two shades. Um, so we have the Brink Lippy Pencil uh, with the Parker Lippy Stick. And then we have the Skimpy Lippy Pencil with the Cookie li Lippy Stick. So I'm going to use the lighter one, which is Skimpy Liner and Cookie Stick. And this is just on one side you get the liner and on the other side you get a stick. So I'm just going to use that to lip line. Um, this is one of my favorite shades of all time. Um, it's quickly become like, I don't know what they've done with these, but they're magic. So I just line with the um, lip liner that looks crazy right now, but I'm gonna obviously fill in with the stick. And I love that the lip liner and sticks are two different shades. I just feel like it's a lot more practical and useful that way. Like instead of having the same shade in two different formats, you have actually two different shades uh, that you can use separately or together. And these aren't drying or anything. They're like a super creamy formula. Now this shade is really beautiful, but what I like to do is I like to grab the deeper liner and just ever so slightly define my lips some more. Like kind of right in these areas. I blotted the lips a little bit just to make them look a little bit more like blotted. And then I'm gonna take my favorite lip gloss uh, from ColourPop, it's the So Juicy Lip Gloss. This one's in Candy Coated, but obviously you can get any color that you like. Um, and I just like to almost take that on my hand and then use my finger to just very gently dab on my lips just to add a little bit of shine but nothing like you know too crazy and it's just such a glassy moisturizing nourishing formula love it and it looks very beautiful on top of just anything lip liner lipstick on its own anything so this is the springtime look very neutral very natural very glowy shiny you know the lip gloss with the highlight with the not setting my face um i love the eyeshadow palette for this kind of look obviously um i just think it's such a springtime beautiful gentle look one of my favorites obviously um if i was to like heavily recommend products i think the mascara is beautiful for those natural days um i think the blushes the super shock blushes and the super shock highlights just change the game. I think these lip duos that they have are like a, an amazing thing. Obviously you have four different shades in like two lipsticks. So if you just bring one of these on holiday, you have two different shades in two different formulas and two different formats. And the So Juicy Lip Glosses are just one of my favorites. Honestly, you can't go wrong with these. They're just beautiful and they smell minty and they taste minty and they're just very nice. Um, but overall, everything is stunning. I think their complexion is amazing. I think the eyeshadows are amazing. I don't think there's been duds for me with Colourpop and I was just so excited that they wanted to sponsor today's video. So this is a springtime full face of Colourpop with some life updates. Um, subscribe, hit that bell, like, comment for engagement and thank you to Colourpop for helping me out with this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.